Hi, this demo will show how to create a highly available infrastructure for your virtual and physical workloads using EMC vPlex, Symbolic Melio Data Center, and Microsoft Hyper-V. EMC vPlex is a storage federation solution allowing servers at multiple locations to access the same shared block storage devices, although physically located in different data centers. The combination of Symbolic Melio file system and Lascalia software provides the ability to centrally configure and assign logical volumes on the vPlex LUN across geographic locations and to have physical or virtual servers in all locations concurrently reading and writing from these volumes. As we can see in the diagram, we have two different sites with two sets of clusters across these sites accessing a shared vPlex LUN and volume across these. Now let's start by looking at the Symbolic Lascalia Cluster Volume Manager where we can configure and manage local volumes on a shared LUN for all the servers. Here, the vPlex LUN is being brought under management by Lascalia and then formatted with Melio, Symbolic's clustered file system. The video has been sped up due to time limitations, although the process is very quick. Next, a drive letter can be assigned to the shared volume that provides all servers with a common path to the volume. Because Lascalia is a clustered volume manager, any changes to the volume structure on the vPlex LUN are automatically available and visible to all servers in the cluster without any disk rescan. In this case, all servers have full access permission. Here in the video, we can see that all servers in both sites have access to Melio drives X and W. Now let's look at Quality of Service Manager. Melio provides the ability to prioritize storage bandwidth access on the shared vPlex volume on a per server, per file, or per, per process basis. Hence, the VHD for a virtual server running a critical process can be guaranteed the storage performance it requires. Process like a virus scan or a file copy can be deprioritized so it runs in the background and does not impact SLAs for production servers, or in this case, we can assign higher priority to the virtual machine services. Now this part of the video is demonstrating how to copy a file from each of the servers into the shared vPlex volume, Melio Drive W. The files are immediately available to all the machines in the cluster on both sides of the vPlex. In other words, all files are available to all servers in the cluster across the data center. Melio Clustered File System provides concurrent read and write access to the shared vPlex volume for any Windows workload. This enables local file sharing on both sides of the vPlex environment to support, for example, collaboration across offices. Now in this part of the video, let's look at the actual what's contained in the drive and some of the settings for our virtual machines. By looking at the X drive, we can see in the VHD folder all of the virtual machines for all of the servers that are available. Again, this is on the shared drive made available and accessed by all four servers in the clusters. Looking at the failover manager, we can see all of the VMs that are currently online. As well as looking at Hyper-V manager, we can look at Boston 1 and the VMs that are currently running on that server. Looking at the setting of the first VM, we can see in the drive details the VHD located on the shared X drive. And again as well as the shared data files on the X drive that's available to all servers in the, on both sides of the vPlex. We can also see other resources, including the VM1 volume, available to this VM, and looking at the properties of that, it's recognized as a symbolic volume. 
So let's go ahead and perform a live migration between site one and site two. This shows that we can easily move a virtual machine from Boston one to Timbuk two and then we can also move the VM back to Boston 1 without the need for any failover storage for managing replication or for reconfiguring servers. and now the VM's back running on Boston 1. So now we're going to look at performing a migration using System Center Virtual Machine Manager at zero milliseconds or essentially within a data center using VPlex Metro. The current workload within this VM is just over 1300 IOs per second and 84 megabytes per second. We'll move the VM between Boston 1 and Timbuk 2 1 and notice the clock will start at 316 in the upper right hand corner. We're going to speed up the video, but using the clock in the upper right hand corner, you can notice the migration completes at 31647 or 47 seconds. So, in summary, EMC's VPlex Storage Federation technology provides a new capability to distribute workloads across data centers. Symbolic Cluster File System enables customers to fully utilize this capability, and Microsoft Live Migration allows you to easily move virtual machine workloads for these shared disks for high availability of your virtual workloads. Thank you.